What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna to learn how to do MIDI automation with your Quad Cortex. Let's get into it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 100, we are so close. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see all the updates that I got going on and all the new videos that I got coming out. So in the world of guitar processing units, they're getting better and better every day. And you know, we wanna use them to their full potential. So when we're playing live, we want to be able to just have this thing do all the switching for us so we don't have to worry about it and we can just focus on playing a really good show. How do you do that? Well, you know, you're going to need a DAW, number one. You're going to need the unit and you're going to need either a MIDI cable or a USB cable, whatever one yours takes. We're using USB because that's what the Quad Cortex came with. And that's pretty much it. So let's get into a few things you have to do before you start doing it. On the actual Quad Cortex, as you can see, we're gonna be working with our song Anxiety today. But what we, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to go to the settings, go to the MIDI settings, you're gonna to have to set the channel, and you have to make sure that USB over MIDI or MIDI over USB is set to on if you're using a USB cable. So once you have that, that's pretty much it. And what we're going to do is we're going to just change the song here just so you guys can actually see the uh, the patch change here. So let's go into Pro Tools. So the first thing you're going to have to do when you do this is you're going to have to create a MIDI track. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's just name this Bass Patch. Okay. You have to make sure that you set the inputs for it. Channel 1, Output, Channel 1. And you're going to want to do this too if you're using multiple units because that's, you know, that's going to be the way that it knows what unit to send what patch change to. So once you have that set, you're going to want to go to Window, Media Event List, and you want to make sure that the base patch thing is selected. You're going to go here, Insert, Program Change. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky, so stay with me. You wanna make sure that you set your patch change a little bit before your actual song starts. So we have our click track here and we know that the song is definitely on time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start the song a little bit before it. So I'm gonna start it, let's just see, I'm gonna start it right here. So we open that window back up and it already has it in there. That is, we're gonna start it a little bit before it. So what you have to do from there is you have to put the song in so it knows what song to go to. Again, I don't know why the Quad Cortex specifically does this, but all the numbers start at zero instead of one. I don't know. But so how, how do we do that? So we're gonna to go to the top of the list here and we're gonna count one, or actually zero, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Even though there's 13 songs, you have to land at 12. Or if you start at one, just make sure you always minus one at the end. That's what I usually do. So we know that 11 would be anxiety. So you're gonna put in 11 and just put zero for this and then hit enter. And that is it. Once you do that, let's see if it's, let's see if it worked. So as you can see, it changed from serpents to anxiety with no problem right when I wanted it to. So now let's just say if you wanted to use, you know, your actual, you know, your actual patch changes here. So the way you're going to want to do that is basically the same way. You're going to go to mini event list, make sure everything is checked. You, you know, if you want to start at the same spot, you go right there. And, but for this one, you're going to go controller. And for this first number here, you're gonna put 43, cause that's how it knows to operate these instead of everything in there. And then remember, everything starts at zero. So A would be zero, B would be one, two would be C. So let's just say you wanted to start with C. You would hit two, hit enter, automatically it put it in there. So now let's see. Burn, burn, burn. 
and that is it. That's all you have to do. So, you know, if you have multiple songs, you just set it up multiple ways and you put your patch changes in however you have your unit set up. And, you know, let me know if this video helped you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, we are so close to 100, so let's get it there. And make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can keep updated with everything that I got going on. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, my last